Kangen water. I don't know what I'd do without it. Hey, listen, this is the Kangen water lady here coming uh, at you today from my home in Gilbert, Arizona. And I want to uh, show you a little test, something that I think you're going to find quite amazing. Um, most people in the United States across the country get their water out of the tap. And some people, you may have a reverse osmosis soft water system. Here in Arizona, we have terrible hard water, so a lot of people do have uh, filters and things in place. And that's a good thing, but um, that'll be another video when we compare those filters. But today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about and compare chlorine, okay? And I have a swimming pool out there outside. It's about 114 degrees uh, today. But what I've done is I've taken my um, water testing unit that I that I test my chlorine uh, in the pool. And this side here is for the chlorine. This is for the uh, pH. We're just going to do the chlorine. And then I'm going to take the water out of the tap. And we're going to test the, the chlorine that's in the tap water. Now, as you may or may not know, um, tap water is mandated by the federal government to have chlorine in it as well as lye. Uh, the chlorine is to kill all the disease and the bacteria, the pharmaceuticals. There's like over 400 different toxin whatevers that can be in that water at any one time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting these drops in. This is just regular um, chlorine tester that I test for my pool. Get any chlorine stuff. So one, two, three, four, now my chlorine's kind of high right now uh, out of the swimming pool because um, it's summertime and in the heat here why um, chlorine dissipates a lot and I just put chlorine in here this morning so it's really hot okay if you can see that there zoom in on that you can see how dark that is in the, in the uh, scale of things it should be a light yellow but it's kind of high but that's okay it's a swimming pool I don't drink my swimming pool water now this is a cup, and I'm going to come over here to my uh, faucet, and I'm just going to run some regular tap water. Let's just see what we get. Every time I do this, it's always just a little bit different. And uh, we did this a couple of weeks ago, and I didn't realize what I actually had done. We did it a couple of weeks ago, and when I put the drops in, the drops came, out, came in uh, blue with no chlorine, and it dawned on me. That means there was no chlorine in the water. So some days it's heavier more than others. Some days there's no chlorine in, in it at all. So here's five same drops. One, two, three, four, five. And, um, you know, I don't know if you know this or not. I certainly didn't know it. And I didn't know much of anything about uh, water. I th like I've said before, I thought I did, but, you know, it's wet. No. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think we just hit the jackpot and have made our point right here. This is called extremely, extremely chlorinated, okay, and extremely, extremely toxic, okay? And this is my tap water. This is my swimming pool water. How many of you have a swimming pool, or how many of you, if you need water, do you go out to your swimming pool and, um, and drink, the, drink the water? Or take a bucket to go into the pool to, you know, boil your pasta in? I never did that. This is an onion. And take this onion, I'm just going to cut it a little bit here, part of this chlorine demonstration. One of the other things that I found out um, as I've gotten to understand and learn and study about this water, because I find it just fascinating, is that uh, chlorine is uh, the number one cause of bladder cancer. Whoops, not a good thing. And I know that we all wash our, our fruits and vegetables uh, in our tap water. Which again is chlorine. We also bathe in it. And did you know that when you take a shower and you're in a shower for uh, anywhere from 10 minutes or longer, that it's, as, it's the equivalent to your body absorbing eight cups of tap water? That's all chlorine water? Yikes. So, anyway, here we are. I'm just cutting this orange, uh, orange. onion, regular onion, and I'm going to put it in this water. Now, get ready because you're not going to believe what you're going to see here. I'm putting this onion in this. This is my city water, my tap water that I uh, tested with the chlorine. I'm gonna take this little swizzle and I'm just going to do this. Oh, what do we hear? About five, ten seconds here now. A empty cup. And now we're going to take, and let me drain that water for you out of that onion. Where did the chlorinated water go? Where'd it go? 
it absorbed into the food. And I can do this experiment with cauliflower, with lettuce, with uh, anything, any kind of vegetable that you wash. And this is what happens. It absorbs into the food. This is not what we want. This is not a good thing. So, Kangen water, on the other hand, I'm going to take this same one and dump it. Rinse it out here. And this is my Kangen water machine. And I'm going to just put Kangen water in here. Let's test the chlorine of the Kangen water. Kangen water, 9.5, same drops. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll stick. Well, looks good enough to drink to me. Except I don't know what's in those drops either. So, Kangen Water Lady here at you. KangenWaterMagic.com. Please do your diligence. Sign up for the free ebook, uh, the newsletter, and um, I'll know that you did. I'll contact you, and we can talk more. I also have a couple of other websites, and we're going to get continue with these videos. Um, I hope you enjoy them. I hope it sheds some light for you. And um, this is totally unacceptable. Have a wonderful day. <sighs> Tasty, too. <laughs>